All right, guys. Shalom. Brothers and sisters, hope all is well. This is another short lesson on the behalf of Sala Foundation, Israelite Academy, 2019. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with family and friends. Now, the topic of discussion concerning this video is statistics documentation on the Apocrypha. That is statistics documentation on the Apocrypha. All right, guys. I am your host, Shabar Judah Israel. We're going to get into it and we'll get right out of it. All right. Just a short lesson, I promise you, concerning statistics documentation on the Apocrypha. Give you a little short background of the Apocrypha. Um, kind of give you um, some, some biography on this uh Apocrypha. All right, so here we go. Before we get into it, double honors to the elders, salutations to the brothers that's edifying the lost sheep, blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. Um, and last but not least, all praises and glorification and great honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus the Christ. So we're not going to prolong any more time. Let's get into it. So what about the Apocrypha, guys? Well, the Apocrypha, all right, today, 99 out of 100 Protestants look at these Apocryphal books and they say um, that's not part of the Bible. They'll say the Apocryphal books is not part of the Bible. You'll hear that from a lot of people. A lot of individuals say that the Apocryphal books is not part of the Bible. And what do they say? They say that uh, the Apocryphal books, those are Roman Catholic books. Okay. This is what they say. So certain individuals, if they catch you with a with an Apocrypha, they catch you reading the Apocrypha, they'll say, uh, what, what, what are you, Roman Catholic? They will ask you, is you Roman Catholic? And that's madness. That is complete madness. So, uh, yeah, guys, just just be be sure to hear that from individuals. All right, so we're gonna go on. Uh, the apocryphal books are not Roman Catholic. They are not Roman Catholic at all. When people say, "Well, the Catholics they have the apocrypha in their Bible." That doesn't mean just because they are, the uh, that just that doesn't mean just because. The Roman Catholics have, have the Apocrypha in their Bible that the Apocrypha is Roman Catholic because truth, truth of the matter is that um, the Roman Catholic Bible don't have all the Apocryphal books in it. The Roman Catholic Bible just have 12 of the 12 of the 14 Apocryphal books. So the Roman Catholic Bible, they don't have quite all of the uh, Apocryphal books. The Roman Catholic Bible only had 12 only has 12 of the apocryphal books and it's 14 apocryphal books total okay so uh catholics have the apocryphal books in their bible all right the protestants and the anglicans do not catholics have the apocryphal books in their bible but the protestants and the anglicans do not all right so it's been that way for over hundred years and therefore the apocrypha is catholic nonsense guys the apocrypha is not catholic the apocrypha was written 400 years before the messiah 400 years before christianity and hundreds and hundreds of years before the roman catholicism even started all right over a thousand years before what we call protestantism the Apocrypha is not um, what you would call a Christian book. Okay, so once again, the Apocrypha was written uh, over a thousand years before Protestantism. And the Apocrypha is not a Christian book. The Apocrypha is not a Catholic book. The Apocrypha is not a Protestant book. It was written 400, uh, 400 years B.C. 
however you would say it was the apocryphal book was like written 400 BC. It's a book about the Jews. It's a book about the Jews, which are the modern day uh, modern day Negroes. Okay, it's like the Old Testament that was written before Christ. It's a book based on the history of the true Jews, which are the modern day Negroes. The apocryphal documents the history of what happened to the true Jews before the Messiah came. So if you want to know that timeline, um, um, after the after the uh, after the Pers after the Medo Persian Empire, the Greeks conquered the Persians, took them over, and the apocryphal books talks about um, how the Grecian Empire subdued the Jews, and that is that is in First and Second Maccabees. So these books kind of give you some clarity on what happened to the Jews before the Messiah came. A lot of the Jews were Hellenized under the orders of King Antiochus IV of Epiphanes, and they was forced to uh, forfeit their customs and feast days and, and keeping their law. If they did not forfeit their customs, if the Jews did not forfeit their uh, customs, they were killed. All right, and so... Yeah, the apocryphal books. They are not Roman Catholic, guys. All right. The, the apocrypha also was part of the scrolls in the temple. It was part of the Messiah's Bible when he walked the earth as a human being. He went into the temple to read from the scrolls. Um, he would have the he would have the Old Testament and the apocrypha. Obviously, he wouldn't have the New Testament because it was written. Of him and about him after he died and rose and ascended into the heavens. So the New Testament was not in the Messiah's time. But however, he would have had the Old Testament and the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha was part of every true Jew's Bible. The Apocrypha was also a part of every every Christian's Bible all the way up until the 1800s. Approximately 1881. In 1881, something happened, guys. What took place? Well, due to the influence of wildly liberal textual critics, these two guys by the name of Westcott and Hart, uh, the Apocrypha was removed from the non-Catholic Bibles. All right. So the Catholics ignored Westcott and Hart, but the Protestants and the Anglicans fell into the fell, they fell into line and textual critics said, well, this should not be in the Bible. And amazingly, everybody fell like dominoes and, and starting in 1881. Uh, Bibles that that are Protestant and Anglican. Bibles that are Pro Protestant and Anglican, they do not have the apocryphal guys. So I just wanted to drop that short information on you guys concerning the statistic documentation of the apocryphal. Uh, like I said, what is Protestantism? When you talk about Protestantism, Protestantism is a form of a, a form of Christian faith and practice which originated with the Protestant Reformation. A movement against what followers considered to be errors in the Roman Catholic Church. It is one of the three major divisions of Christendom together with Roman Catholicism and Orthodoxy. So Protestantism began during the Renaissance as a as a protest against the established establishment of the Roman Catholic Church. And like I said, guys, the Apocrypha is not a Christian book. The Apocrypha is not a Catholic book, and it sure hell. It sure as hell is not a, a, a Protestant book. So for those of you that want to keep on insisting that the uh, apocryphal books is Roman Catholic books, you need to go and research and get more ground in the history, guys. So, uh, yeah, Revelation 22 and 18. So let's go to Revelation 22 and 18 concerning these apocryphal books. All right, guys, we are in Revelation 22, 18. For I testify to every man that hears these words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Now check this out. Here's your Revelation 22 and 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So what man, what two men took away the words of uh what 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 two men took away the words of this book? 
because 14 books was extracted from the Bible after the 1800s, approximately 1881. And who did this? These guys by the name of Westcott and Hart, they did this. They, 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 Westcott and Hart, they are the ones that Revelation 22 and 19 is speaking about. Any man that taken away the words of the book of this prophecy, God should take away his part out of the book of life. So Westcott and Hart and many other, many other uh, Roman Catholic Protestants that protested to have these books removed. You're going to have, you're going to, I'm telling you, man, you're going to, your part is out of the book of life. All right, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, Westcott and Hart, these two individuals had the Apocrypha removed from non-Catholic Bibles. You see, Westcott and Hart, these are the ones ones that Revelation 22 and 19 is talking about. And yes, true indeed, they are Edomites, the so-called white man. Because the so-called white man never cared anything and care less about the scriptures. Because he knows that um, the biblical account was not for him and it's not by him. So what did Westcott and Hart do once again, guys, in the year 1881? Due to the influence of wildly liberal textual critics, the Apocrypha was removed. All right. So, yeah, I don't have too much, to, too much more to say, but, um, yeah, guys, let's keep in mind. Don't let anyone tell you that the Apocrypha was never part of the Bible because it was, man. Yeah, the Apocrypha was always part of the Bible. Um, going back to the images right quick concerning the Apocrypha, they was always part of the Bible, man. I'm going to show you something, guys. Um, let's type in King James 1611. KJV 1611. I'm going to show you guys. Now, if you would purchase this Bible here, you can you can see clearly for yourselves that the Apocryphal books was part of the Bible. See, it says the King James Bible, original edition. The King James Bible, um, this is this is the 1611 edition. And then this Bible contains the Apocryphal books. Even in your Geneva Bible, the Geneva Bible has the Apocryphal books. You see, all the way up into the 18th century, you had Bibles that contained Apocryphal books. But after the 18th century, you know, you don't no longer have these books. But uh, yeah, guys, once you see in the 1611 edition, as you can see here, I'm going to blow it up a little bit. As you can see here, you can see in the Old Testament, where it starts off with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. It goes all the way down to Joshua. And over here, like I said, following up. And then it stops on Malachi. Now, these are the 39 books of the Old Testament, which is better yet known as the Tanakh. And then right after the 39 books, you know, after Malachi, that was dealing with the Medo-Persian Empire. And then what do you know? Here, here's the Apocryphal books. Beginning with first and second, first and second Exodus, and then you have uh, Tobit, Udith, the rest of Esther, Baruch, uh, with the Armaya. You have the Song of the Three Holy Children, the Book of Susanna, Bell and the Dragon, the Proud Manasseh, first and second Maccabees, collectively, which is fourteen books total, which consist of the Apocrypha. So the Apocrypha was always part of the Bible until the eighteenth century. After the 1800s, guys, now you got Bibles, which is most likely, like I said, Protestant and Anglican Bibles that don't have the Apocrypha. But yeah, so all together you had the Old Testament books, 39, Apocryphal books, 14, New Testament books, 27. And all together you have, uh, have 80 books total. So guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
Thank you once again for tuning in. Um, see you in the next edition. Shalom.